hello my dear students welcome back to the lecture so in this lecture i'll be taking you to few of the other structural drawings for a very high rise building and we'll try to see that how it has been given uh, whatever drawings is possible from my side i'll be explaining you that right yeah so now uh, i'm showing you one of the drawing where this particular drawing what i'm explaining you is actually a building which is designed for the four basement when they write four basement there is four basement and then comes your ground level and after the ground you have a 25 typical floors that means how it's going to look so very simple i'll do it here let us consider if this is my entire building let me do it in this way yeah if this is my entire building right and at one particular area let us say somewhere here this is my ground floor okay this is my this is my ground floor right so below the ground floor i'll be having four basement so this is let us basement number 4 okay then this is basement number 3 okay 2 sorry i'm going to have to go it other way round okay let me repeat it once again this is my basement number 4 3 2 1 this is your ground level okay so ground level usually maybe whatever buildings are there here uh, basement uh, you can use it for other purpose and all okay especially for the car parking you are going to use the first two basement and you can use it for other activities and after this whatever i have i have how many floors i have another 25 floors so over this i have another 25 floors just imagine how it is going to look 1 2 3 so in this way there are almost 25 floors after that right so this is how the structural drawing for that is partic for that particular building is made so uh, whatever drawing is i'm having i'll be explaining that right now i have a column details so just see here how it is given okay so they have given the dimensions for the column here right just understand the size yeah we'll start from here so this is a column uh, dimensions they have given it's a column schedule what is given can you see it here column schedule for the tower u and here they have given a column number and all okay the column number is bc1 bc3 bc5 bc7 Uh, B in the stand. It's a basement column, uh, basement column seventeen, basement column nineteen, and so on. Now, what is the size of a column? It is given. It is two thirty by one nine two five. And look at the interesting part. Look at the grade of a concrete. It's a M thirty five grade of concrete. So far, if you had taken my basic course or maybe even this in advanced course, we were actually using a M twenty M twenty five concrete, right? But since it's a very high rise building, here even strength is also important for us. So. unnecessary instead of increasing the sizes of the column and all we will try to increase the size of a uh, sorry in unnecessary increasing the steel or the size of a column it's better to increase the size of is it's better to increase the grade of a concrete right if you increase the grade of a concrete what will happen more strength and all is going to come right yeah and here they have mentioned all these things diameter you have to make use of 8 diameter bar at 150 center to center spacing okay and then here they have mentioned what is a bars you are supposed to use just imagine here you have to provide a 16 diameter bar 20, 12 numbers you have to provide a 12 diameter bar 28 numbers and you have to provide a 10 diameter bar of 56 number so just imagine what is the amount of reinforcement coming in this particular column okay right in the same way uh, usually it is not a kind of a column it's a shear wall because if you try to understand this see what is the dimension given it's 230 so 230 will be hardly this much and 1925 will be something like this so this is a kind of a shear wall itself right and here you are supposed to provide all this reinforcement 16 diameter 12 bar 12 diameter 28 bar and 10 diameter 56 bar got it so in this way you are supposed to understand in the same way if i go to the this is right now what i did is 25th floor now here you see the next is 23rd floor we don't have a 24 24th floor here right next you see here we have 20 floor then we have 17 usually in the high rise building what we try to give every alternate floor we try to give same reinforcement details here you see after 25 we are come to 23 like 25 23 then your 21 all this will be same reinforcement or same size of a column and all then this is my odd one when it comes to the even part maybe in in the next drawing let me check if there is even part so in the even part what will happen you are going to get another set of drawing where your floor will be even in number like right now we have here ground floor after that we have something called as service floor then it is a sixth floor you can see 8 10 15 in this way all these things are given right yeah again you can check 
the size here 230 by 1925 again you see the grade of concrete here they have gone for m45 grade of concrete right and also see the reinforcement how it has been given 20 diameter 8 bar 16 diameter 36 bar 12 diameter 52 bar so in this way the entire uh, you know uh, column details has been given and based on that the execution is going to happen on the site and then obviously these are the things which we know uh, about the column reinforcement they have given it how your column reinforcement how the typical detail of a column should look those things they have given it here okay yeah so after this i'll take you to one more drawing yeah so you can see it here now you see here this is another drawing for the same i mean it's the same building we have a ground floor here then after that we have a first floor you see now this time it is third floor then fifth then we have sixth then we have eighth tenth 11 13 so in this way uh, whatever floor was not there in the previous drawing they've added it here and similarly you can see all these things has been given here okay the size of the column what grade of concrete you are supposed to use and what are the different diameters of bar you are supposed to use it here so in this way again the drawing is made up again they have given here column schedule this is for tower number five because when a high-rise building we do we have a many towers right it's not that only one building we are going to do then like if for example if this is my plan okay if this is my area then we'll be doing a lot of uh, building let us say this is my tower one tower a i'm going to put tower b somewhere here this will be my tower c and then this will be tower uh, d then it is a tower e something like this right so when it's, when it's a high-rise building you try to create a kind of a society there so in this way you can see the column schedule for the tower 5 tower 6 in this way all these things will be given and also the column name is also given cc1 cc2 so all these are the names given by the uh, structural engineers based on their requirement and based on the uh, detailing they have given so again if i try to maximize this it's the same thing just wanted to show you how the drawing is going to look and how the sizes of the columns are given so you can see all the reinforcements and all right yeah Again, this is a typical uh, detail what you get in the 23rd floor where you have to do the lapping and all. Okay. Those things they have mentioned it in the typical uh, junction drawing. Yeah. So other than that, I'll show you one more drawing. Yeah, I mean, it's the same drawing only. Here again, they have given a different way of detailing it here. So here, uh, how the columns have been given. So here, it is a 600 by 800 mm column. You have to provide a 16 diameter 20 number of bar and see how the lateral ties has been given. This is your master ring, the yellow color. Then comes your next ring. It is here. Then this is my next string, which comes here. Then our hook is going to come. And then one more ring is going to come. Right. So again, you're supposed to provide a 10 diameter bar at 75 mm center to center spacing. So in this way, all this detailing will be given. It's written here, column PC 27, 57, 58, 59, all these columns which belong to this number, you have to follow this particular detailing. In the same way, if I go to one more column, you see here, uh, this column is uh, P, uh, column PC 39. Okay. And see how the reinforcement has been given. See, you have to provide a 20 diameter 10 bar here and also you have to provide a 20 diameter 10 bar here then you have to provide a 16 diameter 6 bar here then a 16 diameter 6 bar here then another 12 diameter 2 bar extra you are going to provide here right and then uh, along with that this is how the lateral test has been given this is your master ring the middle one you can see it here it's a, this is that master ring and then this ring this ring you can see it here okay then again you have this ring this ring you can see it here and then all these are the another links you can see this is one link that link you can see it here then this is one stirrup two leg stirrup you have one two leg stirrup another two leg stirrup so another two leg stirrup another two leg stirrup another two leg stirrup what you have it here okay similarly you can see one one two leg stirrup it's here next is here next is here you have it here right then this is one link you have one link here and you can see it here this entire thing is even again this thing your this this particular mastering what we have you have to provide that at eight diameter bar at 150 center to center spacing this is also at the same whereas this lateral test what we have no 
this you have to place at 75 mm center to center spacing so in this way all the details will be given we have not seen a drawing similar to this again you can see it here also see how the detailing has been given again this becomes your master ring and all these are the uh, other uh, uh, internal links what we have okay and again the size of the column it is 600 mm and this is 1600 mm and all this is the reinforcement you have to provide a 25 diameter three bar so you can see one two and three this is 25 diameter three bar and one two three this is also 25 diameter three bar okay now how do you identify that see it's they have given they have given a small uh, this thing isn't it a dotted line here can you observe that dotted line path so this is a 25 diameter three bar similarly you can see it here a dotted portion so again this is a 25 diameter three bar similarly see it here uh, this much portion what you can see no so it's a 25 diameter three bar similarly this dotted portion you can see right so it's a 25 diameter three bar now whatever is left so whatever is left which is the left portion this much is the left portion see they have done something like this this portion will be your remaining diameter that is it's written here you have to provide a 20 diameter 12 number of bars so if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 12 yeah 1 3 4 5 5 5 10 this is 11 and this is 12 so 20 diameter 12 bar you are supposed to provide in this portion you getting my point so in this way all the reinforcements will be shown and based on that the execution is going to happen again these are your lateral ties right so most of the things i've covered it here uh, if you understand it for one the rest things are very simple this is a very simple detailing uh, i've taken most complicated drawings also here right yeah here also it's very simple it's a 300 mm by 600 mm so to provide a 16 diameter 3 bar here 16 diameter 3 bar here and a 6, 12 diameter 6 per 1 2 3 4 5 6 and these are your lateral ties what you're supposed to provide master ring then this ring and a link so this link will be here right yeah again all those things will be mentioned which column is that what grade of concrete you're supposed to use there which column is that all these columns like uh, pc 23 24 25 29 for that you have to refer this particular detailing and based on it the execution will be done right yeah so when a high rise building and all comes you only the uh, column detailing will be more typical and also the beam detailing uh, slab always remains the same there won't much too much complication in the slab right now i don't have a slab drawing with me foundation most of the time we go with the uh, raft foundation only right so in the raft foundation you get a bottom mesh you get a top mesh and that is how you put, try to put so the typical drawing will be usually the column details and also the beam details so these are the typical drawings what we try to get yeah so i think uh, most of the things i have uh, explained you here uh, other than that yeah so this drawing is also explained yeah So I hope up to here your concepts are clear. You at least got an idea like how a high rise building drawings will look, how we need to understand all. The rest all things will remain the same, how you do the typical detailing and all that remains the same, right? Yeah. So uh, we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.